we were mixing a gunfight scene. Mixing of 44 seconds took one day. We realized that under the immense time pressure we have to do this, that a lot of that gunfight scene has to be pre-mixed in the sound design. So in order to really achieve that, um, I, I tried, how, how can I do that? And in a gunfight, you have multiple choices, uh, multiple gunshots per second. You have, and they're coming from various directions. Everyone has to sound a bit different. They all have impacts. They have whizzes. Um, at the same time, um, you want to tell a bit about other things that are going on, fires, things clanking. So I, I started with that and I, I realized to put all this in place for this, for this special sequence, it took me one day to, to come up with 45 seconds of, of a gunfight. And I was deaf at the end of the day. So I, I, after having done that, I realized, okay, I have to... I have to get other parts of the movie done and every time, every night when I was finished with my actual work, I did a couple of extra hours of that gunfight um, to get that done on the side basically. But there's, it's the amount of detail that takes time. It's just the amount of detail and we wanted that amount of detail so we took the time. Yeah, and I think it, it's also, um, it, it, we benef had a huge benefit in in the main mix because of all the effort you put into into the premix of that scene, because the the basic structure of the effects of the gunshots uh, was there, and and so in the main mix we could really concentrate on um, on the overall of the scene, really looking for okay, are there certain individual gunshots that maybe interfere with something else is there um, a gunshot covering up a, a, a line of dialogue so that was our main concern when we were really here in the mixing stage because all all that um, pre-mix work was done already by Christian um, before um, it was a great benefit in time saver on the mix because otherwise we probably might still be mixing that scene during the real mix of the of a movie. You you can't really work like Christian proposed for during the sound design. You you take a section and you work on it, and then okay, for most of the day you'd work on something else, and then you go back to that place. When when you're in the mix, you want to work chronologically. You want to create um, create a, a a red line for the audience to follow to to get the right dynamics and and so you have to work chronologically and if we worked on on that scene f for two days in a row and after those two days we were just physical racks <laughs> so um, um, it, it helped a lot uh, to have that degree of preparation